Okay. Hi guys, uh, I'm Mark Chu, currently studying at SUTV. Uh, so this is my first time at uh, Echoway. Okay, so what happened is that uh, like two months ago, I was actually uh, went to start weekend. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so two months ago, I went to start weekend, joined a team there, and then uh, we managed to win the most creative prize. So what uh, my team leader, Christina, uh, she's a She's a mom of two children, then she's like super paranoid about getting her children, uh, her child lost uh, because of some events that happened uh, in her past. So what she thought up was to put a GPS tracker or GPS tracker in children's shoes so that they would never get lost. So, so, uh, in, so other, than, so, uh, other use cases that we were thinking of was also uh, dementia patients or uh, other vulnerable people like uh, this, this uh, or uh, patients in hospices. Yeah. So in case they get lost out in Singapore, then uh, the police are like frantically searching for them. So maybe uh, because why we wanted to put the GPS tracker in a shoe is because there's a lot of GPS trackers out there, like uh, wristbands you put in the bag. But then what she thought was that, what we thought was that, you know, uh, patients with dementia and children, you know, they can just take off the wristbands, they can uh, just throw away the bag. But at least for a shoe, you know that they'll most likely put them on. Or if they don't put them on, if they're out walking in the streets uh, barefoot, someone will like call the police and then get them back. So that's why we wanted to put them in the shoe. So uh, our, the, this prototype over here is we are using like uh, particle electron uh, with a GPS uh, asset tracker shield, then we have a uh, for so we also have uh, now operation which is the close range, so that the GPS doesn't always have to be on and it's very power consuming. Uh, Bluetooth is when you're in a uh, around like fifty meter range, uh, so it tells the parent where how close the child is in proximity to you, so it can tell you like the child is near far, and once it exits uh, that threshold. Then, no, then it can uh, notify the parent that uh, the child is straight too far away. Oh no! Okay, then can sell can send you the GPS notification. So we're using electron particle with uh, asset tracker shield. Our Bluetooth uh, BLE module is uh, HM10, so it uh, sends out a eye beacon signal, which our which a phone can detect. And then we're using lipo battery and then an accelerometer so that. Uh, to become more power, cons power saving, uh, we only activate it when the shoe is in movement. Yeah. So actually now we are trying to turn this into a business. We are currently looking for ARM programmers to take it to the proof of concept level. Yeah. So if you are interested, uh, you can contact me or uh, contact us. Uh, very interested uh, to have people joining our team. Okay. Thank you very much. Flash your name on how, how likely are uh, people to remember to recharge their shoes? Okay, so this one can pro with GPS alone, I think it'll, it can last for around two weeks. At, uh, you ensure that you use all the power saving methods as much as you can. Uh, what, what, we actually wanted to what we actually proposed at Start Weekend was we want to put in Piozo electric charging so that whenever you step on it, it will charge. But we know that Piozo. Oh, Hello, uh, that, that's Christina, uh, my team leader. Yeah, so we actually want to use Piozo electric charging so that whenever the child steps on it or the adult steps on it, then it will constantly recharge. But we are still experimenting at this stage because we know that Piozo electric charging most likely won't provide as much power as we need. Yeah. Have you considered um, like orders of magnitude more efficient approaches like Sigfox or LoRaWAN? Sigfox, LoRaWAN. Uh, we are thinking of using uh, MBIOT and LTE dash M networks. You still. Sorry, no, we're not sure about. If you're using something like Sigfox, you can Sigfox. Use a coin sale for 5 to 10 years. Mm. Laura is on the same. Yeah, I guess MBIOT is probably on the same kind of deal. I don't think so. Is it? Mm. You got to talk about this shopping. You're negotiating. Well, but that's, that's, that's the telco's problem, right? If the telco's got the sales deployed. But the. Yeah, the idea with the... Uh, certainly Sigfox. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the idea with Sigfox is that the receipt, because Sigfox already depends upon receiving at multiple stations, mm. then they simply exploit time of arrival information to triangulate. So you don't need location oh. capability on the device. Right. All you need yeah. is that the Sigfox chip is transmitting like every whatever it is, ten minutes. This, this is a really cheap chip, so really like a watch battery to run the thing for five to ten years, <coughs> which is. Isn't there? A, I was I was sorry, uh, completely offline. Uh, uh, like a ran tangential comment, but there's a, there's a conference in Singapore in two weeks or something uh, on low power radio frequency stuff. A bunch of Six Fox really? people coming down. There's a bunch of Laura people coming down. Hmm. I, I got to know because Bausha retweeted someone, and I got an, into a tweet stream about a bunch of people coming down, and he was telling them to come here tonight, but they're all like, "Oh, we're coming in two weeks, so we're not going to be here." So there's possibly going to be a hackware casual show and tell whatever thing yeah. hacker space in two weeks. Oh, nice! I no guarantees. Uh, I will put it up on the regular like Facebook and, and let's, meet up let's if that, do that happens, one, and then we skip the December one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, early question. So what do we call it? Yeah, because no. As in, uh, so, so uh, if, oh, if right. the guys reply to me and they're they're up for it, because a couple of them want to have come out and hang out at Hackerspace, so I was like, well, if you guys are hanging out, let me know. We can all we can do a meetup and get people involved. I can look up what conference it is. But uh, I've seven had an inquiry originally from someone who's come to Singapore and it also plays Hackware like Plus Plus. Slow away. Hackware Plus Plus. Hackware Plus. Anyway, I'll I'll I'll. I'll up the hackware long range. Okay, that sounds good. Hackware hmm. <laughs> low power. Low power, low power. It's called Sigfox Connect, apparently. Oh, hackware connect. <laughs> good job. Sigfox Connect, 20 to 21st November, Singapore. Oh, great. We just hijacked the name. Uh, yeah. Hackware Connect. Yeah. A bunch of people, like, that's a fancy big con uh, like yeah. corporate conference, but. If some of the people want to come down and hang out here, to the real community. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. Uh, After. <laughs> yeah, sorry. The Discord as well. I mean, you have access to it. Sure. If it have, yeah. Uh, if if it works out, let's let's see. Because the guys haven't replied to me, I gotta poke them again. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Great.